All right, guys, today we got a 2012 Ram 1500. This is going to be part three of why every shop needs a scope. Parts have been replaced, truck's not fixed. Let's get into it. All right, so let me give you a little bit of the backstory. Client was driving the truck, said he shut off in a Publix parking lot. Inside that sh same kind of shopping center is a shop, so he took it over there. Um, they told him that the alternator was bad and that the battery was bad. So they replaced the alternator and the battery. Um, he drove out and truck's battery is still going dead. So the, the client uh, took it back there and they said there's a draw on the battery, that the, that the alternator is charging, but that he would have to take it somewhere to test for a draw on the battery. Okay, so he brings it into us, that's where we're at. So we got into the vehicle and I will tell you uh, right off the bat, um, does not have a draw on the battery whatsoever. I, I uh, shouldn't, shouldn't even have gone that route first, but that's the first thing I did was check for a draw. Does not have a draw. Then I backed up and checked the charging system. It is not charging at all. I mean, it's sitting at battery voltage and never doing anything. All right, so this is why, you know, having a scope is so, so makes life so much easier. Let's go in, I wanna show you a diagram real quick here. So here's the diagram for the charging system, right? So pretty simple, we have our large uh, battery lead coming in, okay? We've got our um, field control, right? So this is what's gonna make the alternator charge. You know, the engine control module's controlling that. And then we've got a sense wire. The sense wire is just kind of sending that back to the engine control module. Um, it's, it should be, the, the what I looked up was it should be three, three and a half volts lower than what the uh, battery voltage is. So, so the engine control module will know uh, what to do as far as charging goes. So that's what we've got as far as, pretty simple setup, right? So let me show you what I've got. I'm connected here, right, with my yellow lead to make sure that we've got good voltage here, same as battery. I'm connected at the battery positive post, right, because I want to do a voltage drop from here to here, and I can do that with the scope very easily while it's running. I am connected at the, uh, this sense wire with the red, uh, my red channel, channel two, I am connected to the uh, field control at the alternator with my green. I'm connected to the engine control module um, with, I believe, white. Uh, make sure that, yes, with white, my white uh, lead, right? And I'm not, not really worried about that one. So that's where I'm at, here, 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 and here, okay? So what am I doing there? Well, I'm gonna do a voltage drop from here to here, okay? Let's see if there's anything wrong with this cable. I'm gonna do a input here. We should have voltage here to, to uh, get the alternator to charge, right? And then we should have the same thing here, all right? So if I don't have something here, then I need to be checking here, which is what I did. Um, I already know what's wrong with this vehicle, but I just wanna show you guys you know, how quickly this was to diagnose. Um, how quick this was to diagnose, not how quickly. So. Anyway, so we should have the same thing here that we do here to know that this wire is good. Because if I check here and I don't have the voltage that I need, okay, well that doesn't mean that the wire might not be broken. I've seen that numerous times on Chrysler where this wire is broken. So, so I wanna check it here also, all right? At the same time, I've got the scanner connected to it. Now right now the key's off, so I've got the scanner connected to it. Let me go ahead and turn the key on. I'll pull up the data. Get out of there, I don't want it dinging. Get in trouble. All right, so what we've got is target, charging system voltage. The, I don't know, what, the, what is this doing up here? How do I get rid of this? Yeah, there we go. Okay. The uh, sense voltage, which like I said, should be lower. It should be about three, three and a half is what I saw. And then the duty cycle of the um, alternator. Uh, this is the field wire. So this right here, is this, the field control, okay? So, let me go ahead and start it up. Let me, let me show you, I got the scope hooked up here. All right, so let me go ahead and hit deep record. All right, yeah, let's, let, we can show how it hooked up. So I'm just on a alligator clip on the um, battery cable going to the alternator. We can see it's a new alternator. We've got um, back probed into the sense wire and the field control here. 
and on this side we're just back probed I just really quickly popped this cover off right and we're back probed into the um, field control into the into the module right so everything we got we're good we're connected um, I always like to go and I've already done this but I'll show you guys I always like to go to meter just to be sure that everything is connected right so we're good there all right I'm gonna go ahead and start it All right, so come on over here. Let me show you what we got at this, on, the, on the scanner first, right? So we can see that right up here at the top, it's trying to charge this thing at 13.896, right? The sense voltage is 11.8. And the duty cycle on the alternator is 100%. So it should be basically putting out um, system voltage straight into that, into that uh, field wire, right? So now let's go over and look at it. So what are our field wires? Our field wires are green. That's the field control is green and white. Green is at the alternator and white is at the um, engine module. And we can see that's sitting right on ground. So that is not doing anything. There's no control there. There's our sense wire. Here is our uh, cable going in, right? Let me pause it. And remember that the blue is on the battery, right? and the yellow is at the alternator. And I know that it's at the alternator, it's noisy, I get that, but it's not a problem. So, uh, and that's just a voltage drop. Um, you know, I'm just looking for, if this, if this was up here and this one was down lower, then that means we'd have a voltage drop between the two, but we don't, so we're good there. This is a way, so right off the bat, guys, look at this. We've got voltage drop tested from the alternator to the battery, okay? We've got our sense wire tested. Is that actually functional? Yes. And we've got both our, our uh, field control connection into the alternator. We've tested that. We've tested it at the engine control module. We know that wire is definitely not, uh, you know, it, it's not coming out of the engine control module and not getting to the alternator. It's just not coming out of the engine control module. There's no, no uh, control there. So, and if we want to check to be sure and see if our alternator is able to charge, we can come right up here. I'm going to hit deep record. Now you guys watch this um, yellow lead there. You're gonna see a couple things change, but, uh, and I'll show you what I'm doing in just a second. Let me, got a tangle here. All right. Move this stuff out of the way. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. All right. And there, you see it jump up right there. See our yellows jumped up higher? You know, it's not gonna jump up a ton, but it definitely jumped up. And if we come over here, you can see what I'm doing. I'm full fielding the alternator is what I just did. All I did was come right in here to the field control and I stuck voltage to it and, or, you know, shot voltage to it, whatever, applied voltage to that circuit. And we can see right here where I did it the second time. This is where you guys came over, I let off, then I put it back on again. If we wanna pause that. All right, and where it'll just be a little cleaner, we can use the blue. We'll get cursors. Whoops. Get the cursors. Zero it. Come down. All right, and if we come down right here to where it's charging, 13 volts right on the dot is where that thing was charging when I uh, full filled the alternator. So, and if I sit there and hold it, it will go higher. Um, so, the alternator is capable of charging. Right, so it's not the alternator bad. Um, and with the scope, we've checked in just really quickly. I mean, this literally took me maybe 10 minutes to look up the, the wiring diagram. Now this was an easy module to get to. I understand, you know, that this was an easy one to get to. I was able to get that cover off very quickly, uh, but we're talking 10 minutes total time. I've got all the wiring tested, you know, for voltage drops. I've got the engine control module. Is it actually seeing and doing what it's supposed to do? It's seeing it, it's trying to, but it's not able to. 
Uh, and I've checked the wire, voltage dropped the wire, basically from the, the um, full field wire to the field wire control. All that's been checked and I'm in and I'm out and I'm done. And you know, I don't know, I'm gonna shut this off. I don't know if this thing, you know, what the original problem was with it. I don't know, maybe, you know, maybe it had a bad alternator to begin with. Um, that's not for me to say, I have no clue. All I know is right now, this thing needs an engine control module in it. And once we get the engine control module in it, that's gonna take care of the problem. Now, okay, before I say that, 100%, uh, I'm gonna do a real quick check on the power, on the engine control module. I'm gonna check my powers to it. I'm gonna check my grounds to it, just to be sure that I've got everything that I need you know, going to the module for it to be able to put power over to this, um, this circuit. But that's going to be a separate deal. What we're going to do is we're going to talk to the client. We're going to say, listen, you know, engine control module is more likely the, the failure, but we're going to need to access some stuff. We're going to need to test some things to it. It's going to cost a little bit extra for us to do that part of it. But, um, but that's, that's easy. That's, you know, we're going to do that as part, anytime we do a module replacement, that's what we're going to do. There it is. Uh, could you do this without a scope? Sure, you could do this one without a scope. Um, some of them are going to need, you know, you would really want to see the pattern for the full field, for the uh, field control. Um, this one I'd have to look at to see if it is duty cycle. And if it's duty cycle, then you would really need a scope. You could do it with a, with a meter. I know there's meter guys out there are going to say you could do it with a meter, but you won't be able to see it. Um, but here's the thing. If I did this with a meter, I would have been individually going across, checking it, individually going across, checking it. Uh, it would have taken a lot more time than just doing this, being in and out. And, and in this way, I can see everything much, much more clearly. I can, I can um, you know, full field it, watch it, you know, to know that everything's working. It's just a cleaner, easier, faster way of doing it. This particular one we could do with a meter. It's just going to take you a lot longer to do it. it so. also, also will show, you can show the client all this data yeah. and prove that you proved it out. Yes, yeah, so, and that's a, that's a good point. I mean, we've actually got pictures here, and these pictures will go on the ticket, right? Because this thing's clearly been to another shop. We're not saying anything about the other shop at all. I don't know what the situation was. But if I was the other shop, I'd at least want to see, well, how did they determine this was bad? I don't, you know, yeah, I could just go by somebody's word and just say, well, they tested it out. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but if, I, if I've got the data, right, pictures, I'm like, yep, cool, man. I appreciate you guys, you know, doing that and showing it to me. So, um, so yeah, pictures worth a thousand words, just like they always say. So. Hope you liked it. If you did, thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Getting close to 100. Huge, huge giveaway. So hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that what bell else, notification. What else so. do they want to see us use a scope on too? Yeah. And if you guys uh, have some ideas of what you'd like to see a scope being used on, please let us know in the comments below. We'll definitely get on it. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.